Hi. Hi, how are you doing, Stockton? Good. So, I have a few questions. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. Who are you and where are you from? Uh, the road is my home, the curb is my pillow. <laughs> no, my name is Ron Brown, and I am a photographer and a photography teacher. I was born originally in uh, Rigby, Idaho, but I have lived in oh, a number of states and have traveled all over the world. Awesome. What inspired you to start photography? Well, this is a really good story. So when I was in high school, for my high school graduation present, present my parents bought me a 35 millimeter camera, and I started using it. I got a scholarship uh, to Utah State University where one of my roommates and I built a dark room out of one of the bathrooms in, uh, in our apartment. And we enlarged and made prints. Oh, that's pretty cool. When did you start? Well, I started like right when I graduated. Uh, I was actually doing some photography. We would set up photo shoots and stuff in high school. It was really kind of fun. So I started pretty much in high school. What? Where have you been? Well, I've traveled all over. I've ridden my motorcycle in eight different countries. And I have, I've traveled all over. And the reason why I like a motorcycle is economical and I, I like the wind in my face. Um, of course, when I went to uh, Asia, I rented motorcycles in the same way in Europe. I rented motorcycles there. What place has been your favorite place to visit? Well, I really like Japan because um, the people are so kind and gentle and polite. Little kids, I'm talking like elementary school age kids, can ride on the subways unaccompanied in Tokyo. They just don't have the crime they, did, they do in other cities. I like Cambodia a lot because it's so ancient. And um, one of my favorite places probably is the desert southwest. I love the desert and I love to explore... Um, um, a place called um, The Wave, and you see that all the time. It's a really cool image. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How many different cameras do you have? I couldn't even count. I saw the, I saw the question. At one time, I think I counted like 30. Wow. Not all of them work. Some of them are old, mm -hmm. uh, but most of them uh, do. And so, like, one time I went on a photographic expedition with my friends, and I... Uh, took seven different cameras and used every single one of them. Wow. Oh, I'll tell you what they are. So I, I like my cell phone camera quite a bit. It takes good pictures. Stuff that I'm not gonna publish or print, let's put it on the web. And then I like my uh, DSLR, it's a Nikon. And then I like, I have an RB67 film camera that's really, really good for when I photograph star trails or real long exposures longer than a couple of hours. And I have a 4x5 view camera and an 8x10 view camera. And that's where you look underneath the dark cloth. It takes about an hour to set those up. Wow. And those are film cameras. I still love to do film. I do. How long have you taught CCA in photography? Well, it'll be eight or nine years. Wow. And it's, sometimes it's hard to keep track. You know, I like it. I like uh, college and career awareness because um, I like being a technoid and I like really uh, making images. I think it's important sometimes when I photograph a, a place or something, not so much that I've been here or brag about where I've been, but I, I want to share the experience because I think that you should go there and you should experience this really cool place. Um, I love to photograph the petroglyphs and I like to explore in the desert. Yeah. Where is somewhere you, you want to photograph but you haven't yet? Um, polar bears in New, uh, Newfoundland Ooh. or walruses in Alaska. <laughs> 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 Those are both difficult to get to. And a place yeah. I really want to go and photograph is what they call the Big Five in Africa. I guess that's elephants, lions, giraffes, zebra, and uh, hippos. Oh, cool. Where is the farthest you have ever been? Well, I went on a motorcycle trip uh, to the further most northern place that you can go on a road 
in North America Ooh. to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska on the Dalton Highway. It's a thousand miles of dirt road and you gotta go prepared. And it's, it's one of the most dangerous roads in the world because it's so remote. It, the first gas station is 250 miles away. Wow. So you gotta go prepared. And if you break down out there, there's wolves and grizzly bears and you gotta be careful. Do you like hiking? I do, I love to hike. Uh, because I'm still in recovery from my motorcycle accident, I can't hike very far. Yeah. But at Christmas time, I did go to Delicate Arch, and that was three miles round trip on, on some uh, terrain, which I really loved. Yeah. Will you be uploading more videos soon? I hope to. Um, I, I, I always take more video than I do um, have time to edit. <laughs> so yeah. there's stuff that I still need to edit. And I'm, I might even, we got a holiday, we got a three day weekend coming up, Stockton, and I might go to Moab this weekend, which I really like. Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty fun. What is one of the weirdest things or craziest that you have done in one of your videos? Um, well, let me think here. Um, oh, probably the weirdest, one of the weirdest or craziest things as I actually um, uh, photographed me eating a triantula in Cambodia. Uh, oh, in Cambodia. That's interesting. Yeah, and I always show my seventh graders that, and they all go, ew. But I never thought I would ever have the opportunity to see or um, eat a triantula spider. Yeah, that and sounds so interesting. Yeah. How much longer will you do awesome photography and like video? Till I can't do it anymore, Stockton. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Even if I'm in a wheelchair, I can still make images. What is your favorite traveling vehicle? Uh, a motorcycle I like because it can go a lot of places. I don't need to have a four wheel drive, but I like a motorcycle because I like the wind in my face and I like traveling light. I, I don't really like motorhomes that much, although I've got a friend who has a 40-foot a motorhome, and that's very nice, but mm -hmm. I, I like traveling light. Yeah. I like four-wheel drives and Jeeps and just about anything that has a motor. <laughs> what are some of your achievements that you have done? Oh, that's a really good question, Stockton. Well, I am in the top 300 of all Utah artists. It's called Ooh. the Utah Artist Project. And that's a nominated or a jury position. And there's only 300 artists that have been in there. And I have uh, exhibited in, uh, well, all over the world. And I am in permanent collections in art galleries. I've been in Communication Arts Photography Annual. I have work in the permanent collection of the Springville Art Museum. I'm published in 38 countries and have worked for some of the largest ad agencies in the in the world actually wow that's yeah. cool it's very impressive yeah and i've had magazine articles that the whole magazine was written about and devoted to me wow yeah in both here and in europe what is um what is one of your favorite places in southern utah oh that's a really good question i'd love to go to a place called uh well i like antelope slot canyon right to, mm -hmm. right outside of page arizona it's tough to, to answer which one is my favorite, and I like mm -hmm. the wave. You have to hike into it, and you got to get a permit. And oh. I really like to go down to Buckhorn Wash. I'll probably go there this weekend. I went there two weekends ago, and I, I've been there a bunch of times, but I really just can't get enough. I love the red rocks, and I love oh, seeing big yeah. orange sheep, and I like the desert and a cactus, and I love to, a petroglyph. And when I look at a petroglyph, I, I think, why did they make that? What were they trying to say? That's what I really like the most. Yeah. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to say? Well, I just really enjoy you as a student, and I'm glad that you made this video of me. Thanks again, and, and we'll see you later. Awesome. Go subscribe to Mr. Brown. Thank you.